right, what's going on, guys? It's Shen. The leaking has not stopped, man. The leaking has only gotten worse and worse. For a while, I've been seeing people say, oh, man, these are the worst leaks that Call of Duty has ever had. These Black Ops 6 leaks, super, super bad. There's so much. And for a little while, I was like, nah, this has kind of happened before. But now at this point, no. Uh, these are absolutely the worst leaks we have ever gotten in a Call of Duty. I mean, everything has been leaked, man. We got multiplayer. We have official zombie shit. And now last night, somebody ended up leaking all of the cutscenes for the entire campaign. So initially, we were getting those multiplayer leaks. Bad quality on the jailbroken PlayStation thing. Apparently, they have removed that now. But apparently, somehow, people are able to still access it to this day. Then we started getting more and more higher quality videos of that whole uh, leak and higher quality gameplay, like player skill and stuff like that. Bunch of different players. Somehow, all of these people have access to, like, a different kind of PS4 or whatever, the jailbroken shit. Which is, like, crazy and surprising to me because I didn't think that that many people had it. But we ended up getting all this zombies information, which wasn't a leak at all. They ended up just, you know, putting it out there, showing everybody. There's, like, a 17 minutes of gameplay that was out there that I assume was supplied by Activision to uh, Charlie Intel. So we got to see all of the information that we already had before we even saw any gameplay. Then we saw gameplay for multiplayer. Then we ended up getting official zombies gameplay. Now we're getting campaign leaks. Now, it's not gameplay, but it is, however, leaked cutscenes. Somehow, in this version of the game that people were able to get access to, they have now gotten access to every single one of the cutscenes in Black Ops 6. It's like 26, 27 minutes, like 30 minutes of uh, cinematics and cutscenes. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be able to show those cutscenes or anything like that. Also, those cutscenes have no audio whatsoever. For whatever reason, I guess the way that the files are in there, it's just, I guess the way that people ended up uh, getting access to it, the audio is just not there in the cutscenes. So it's just 26 minutes of uh, cutscenes playing. But you really have no idea what's actually happening. You don't understand any of the words. You do see some characters and obviously it's spoilers. I'm not saying go and watch it. I'm not saying, hey, you can go and watch it and won't get spoiled to some degree. But I watched the 26 minutes of it. I just skimmed through. It's just a bunch of different characters talking to each other and shit. Didn't really show anything that made me go, oh shit. I just spoiled whatever's gonna happen in the story. I still have no idea what's happening in the story at all. All the characters that I saw in the cutscenes, I, I don't think uh, any of them were like a surprise or anything. To be fair, I can't name a lot of the characters. For as long as I played Call of Duty, Call of Duty characters and stories and campaigns and shit. Gotta be some of the most shallow stories I have ever experienced in my life to the point to where I don't remember any of them at all. I don't remember their names. I don't remember what they're known for. Some of them I don't even remember what game they're from. I think that's the case overall with like a lot of uh, action films and stuff like that for me overall. I really just don't care about action characters very much. I don't really relate to them. The stories don't really stick in my head. It's just a bunch of like dopamine hits with explosions and bullshit. It's just a blur. It's all a blur. Explosions, shoot guns. This person's a badass. That's all action movies and action video games have ever given me. Oh, this character, they're tough, they do cool shit, that's it. That said, though, for the people that do care about the story, obviously don't let me ruin it for you. I'm not a campaign guy, so don't, you know, take my opinion on whether I think the campaign is good or not. I think the campaign will be good for the people that give a shit about it. That said, it is like 26, 27 minutes long of uh, cutscenes. I don't necessarily know if that means campaign will be on the longer or shorter side. I don't know what 26 minutes of cutscenes actually entails overall for the game's length. We could have 26 minutes of cutscenes and then the campaign will be three hours. We could have 26 and it'll be five hours. I don't know. Also, it could maybe be the case that it's not all of the cinematics and cutscenes either. I've been seeing a lot of people blame and talk about uh, COD HQ as being like the sole reason for all of these leaks and stuff happening to the degree that it's been happening anyway. So a lot of people are calling for, I really hope that COD HQ isn't a thing anymore. I really hope that this makes them uh, rethink COD HQ. I don't really have a problem with COD HQ. I, I don't really know why. It, maybe there's more reasons than just the leaks that people have to like dislike COD HQ, but I don't really mind COD HQ. Maybe people could list out more reasons reasons why COD HQ is bad, but other than the leaks, I don't really see what's so bad about it. Maybe storage issues, file size, I, I don't know. Over time, they actively do a good job with squishing these massive games down and reducing the file size anyway, as much as they can anyway. That said, the Western game dev is just, it, we always have massive games. Massive games as in uh, file size. Not that the games are actually that much larger than other games, it's just the compression is so bad. I don't know what the correct term is, but like the compression that other uh, studios seem to do, you can fit much larger games or games of similar size for a lot less space. Call of Duty and Activision, they just don't give a fuck. Yeah, you could argue that the games are big enough to like warrant that size, but I really don't think so. From what I understood, COD HQ was just there to help along the dev cycle. It's supposed to speed things up. Same thing with them being on the same engine and stuff like that, where everything is supposed to be smoother and easier and more accessible for all of the studios to work under like one umbrella, where everybody doesn't have to work with all these different things. Like, yeah, obviously all their development things are different and whatever, but under this system, under the COD HQ, I was under the impression that that was there to speed along the development process. So if they do get rid of the COD HQ thing, obviously we're still going to get a yearly Call of Duty, but that might mean 
mean that it's a bad thing to get rid of COD HQ. I could be completely wrong. Maybe people know the uh, all of the details and stuff that go into it. How much faster does it actually streamline the whole uh, development cycle? Maybe it helped a ton. Maybe we would be getting half the game that we're getting with Black Ops 6 if it wasn't for COD HQ. We don't know. With that said, since I don't really know if that's the case or not, I'm still looking to figure out, I mean, what, what are all the downsides to COD HQ? Uh, again, other than it leaking, that's bad for Activision, not really bad for us. Yeah, you could argue that it's bad for us, that, we, you know, we could potentially get spoiled or something, but I'm gonna be honest. Who gives a fuck if you're spoiled at Call of Duty, man? I'm sorry. It's Call of Duty. Who gives a shit? Like, maybe I'm just jaded or whatever, but I've been one of, if not the longest supporter that I possibly can of Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty since Call of Duty 1 every single year. I played COD 3 and people act like that shit doesn't even exist. And it's not even a flex to be a longtime Call of Duty uh, player or fan. Shit's low-key embarrassing. Just to show you where my mind is, I buy this shit every single year. It's fun. The content's fun to make on. The journey is fun. But past that, I don't give a fuck. Man, fuck. I love Das House. The first map I think of every single time I think of Vanguard. I don't really want to think of Vanguard all the time, but when I do, Das House is the map that I think of, and I think of dropping 200 kills and shit. Most of the cutscenes that I saw just consisted of uh, characters just talking to each other in various locations. Past that, I won't explain anymore, but I'm excited to play the campaign just because it's nice to be able to go and have like a series to do or whatever. It's Call of Duty, man. It's as shallow as it can be. People were making fun of me and saying that all I wanted was like a, some kind of PTSD simulator, like a character actually has to deal with all of the choices that they're making. Like if you're a part of some military force and you go and kill people and shit that has psychological effects i don't mean a situation where like a well-known character that's put together just ends up like being off duty and they just kind of like look depressed or some shit now nah. what more of the psychological shit that comes with being one of those kinds of warriors instead of all of this like uh glory and all this other shit fake macho tough guy bullshit i want to play a game where like your character you're fighting demons and phantoms and shit the black ops series definitely does play a little bit more with the uh psychological aspects of uh war and stuff so i do appreciate i like psychological psychological thrillers and psychological stuff that will actually make you think. I guess what I'm trying to say is I want a realistic representation of what these characters would go through. Not just like, oh, hey, I killed hundreds of people on the way there to go and detonate this bomb. I'm completely fine. Hey, remember that one time we killed hundreds of people? It's not so much that I want a PTSD simulator. It's that I want a realistic representation of real characters. Action characters are always so unbelievable to me. I don't have sympathy. I, there's just nothing. I don't feel any kind of compassion towards them. With that said, if you don't really care about the leaks or anything like that, you can go and uh, find them over on Twitter. They're everywhere. Go and watch it. There's no audio. I'm gonna assume that maybe at some point they'll leak with audio, or maybe they'll somehow remove access, or however people are accessing all this shit. Maybe they'll somehow figure that out, or tighten it up, or something. I mean, because clearly, it's an issue. Clearly, the devs will be upset about it. There's no way that Activision doesn't have an issue with it, and there's no way that they're not gonna look to have some kind of uh, remedy for this. Dude, everybody left this game. What the fuck happened? I just have a really hard time relating to action characters. They, they just don't seem to react to things realistically yeah you could be like a badass or whatever but that's not enough for me to like love a character it's just not anyway yeah go and check those out if you want to go and see them uh maybe you can decipher whatever is going on in the story or whatever make a little like summary of what you think the uh story is or whatever obviously we have that like weak early access thing to be able to go and play before the full game comes out uh, there were those rumors going around about uh early zombies access but i haven't heard anything about that so i don't really think we're going to be getting early access to the zombies mode personally i, I think it'll just be the uh campaign for the week and then we have the full game i mean at this point there's pretty much nothing left to leak except what camo can we leak the camos already or what i'm aware that the camos haven't leaked because they're just not in the files yet but do people currently have access to it as soon as the thing updates they'll be able to show us the camo he said that at one point they were hiding the easter egg tips for the zombies mode maybe it's possible that they can somehow hide the files for the camo and if that's the case and they're able to hide uh, all of the steps and stuff for the easter egg how aren't they able to hide the other thing obviously i'm not a developer there's probably some difference between the two of them but i feel like they have to be able to do something about all of that